just as a quick side note, in case any of you are interested in some posh pampering products. Mm, yep, I'm still doing it. <laughs> so, I have tons of samples too. If any of you are interested, I can send you some via the uh, mail service. So, hit me up in the uh, emails or in the comments and uh, let's get that started. But ultimately, this is a garden update. So let's get out to the garden. All right, let's start with the uh, less exciting but kind of exciting part. <laughs> My Thai basil is starting to get little purple flowers. Love it. The caterpillars are still eating my regular basil though. Ugh, I just can't keep these little guys out of here. I am also propagating some starts on my tomato plants. And look, this one's got roots. I'm gonna have to get that guy in the dirt soon. <laughs> but look at these greens. We have all of our salad is growing amazing. And look at my tomato plants. They're getting so tall. This one's almost as tall as me now. <laughs> this one is a uh, black cherry tomato. And uh, we have one down here that is finally starting to get red. She's a beaut. I love it. And also, my Cherokee purple has finally got a little baby. Yay! And holy moly, my yellow pear is just going crazy. I have, I don't know, 20 blossoms on there now. So I've done some changes in the big bed. <clears throat> um, I have, my zucchini is just going crazy. And I'm starting to get little blooms on there. See them? <laughs> She's pretty big. These are like bigger than my hand. And this isn't even my biggest one. It's kind of sh shading out my little uh, watermelons down here. This carrot's doing really good. I did lose one bunch of carrots to um, the bugs. Speaking of which, there are some right there. And then I have some cucumbers and cantaloupes in the back. And I one beefsteak tomato over there and one over there in the corner. Um, I transplanted some greens out here too, uh, just because I want to see if they'll head up, so excuse the fact they're a little droopy today. <laughs> My pepper plants are doing really good, or at least some of them are. That one's not doing very good, but I wasn't sure because, you know, the bugs got to it. I have a few onions, and that is a weed. <laughs> Let's pull that out of there. And then my zinnias and my marigolds are doing really good. This one looks like it might get a flower on it soon, so that's kind of exciting. Get that guy out of there. I have a couple more cantaloupes and uh, cucumbers. And I think this is a cucumber too. And that one back there in the corner was already starting to set fruit, so I pulled those blossoms off just because I want it to get a little bit bigger crazy little guy. See, he's still trying to pop off blooms down there too. They love the heat. And there's another zinnia. Or actually, nope, this is a sunflower. I forgot. I just put that one in there. And then these are the beds that are doing amazing. So I have little tiny baby chamomile starts coming up again, but this chamomile is doing epic. These are peppers. They haven't quite popped through yet. I planted those from actual pepper seeds I bought at the store. And um, one of them did pop out, so we'll see how it goes. These are both beefsteak tomatoes too, and they are doing great in this one. I had four in here, uh, but I took two of them out and transplanted them up front. These are watermelons. I'm excited about that. Oh look, this little guy's starting to set fruit too. Oh, no, that's a new leaf. We're good. <laughs> but this guy, holy moly, look at the size of this thing. So just a week and a half ago, that was the size of those. And uh, 
it is loving the spot. It's already almost to the top of this trellis. It's trying to go through my fence. <laughs> Crazy guy. But it's just got blooms all the way up and down the whole thing. So I'm really, really excited about this one. And then I've got, um, I think these ones are pumpkins actually, but they could be more zucchini. We'll see. I forgot. And then I have marigolds and another zinnia in here, kind of growing in the shade of this big guy. My corn is finally starting to take off, and this is a bantam sweet corn, so it won't get super tall. But it's finally uh, getting the little purple edge on the leaves. It's really cool. <clears throat> and then this is what I'm super excited about, you guys. Look, I have baby beans. <laughs> Yay! And this is another, I think this is actually another cantaloupe that I tried to trail in here. Um, as you can see, my beets did not quite make it. These ones are barely hanging on, so I, I don't want to pull them out. And then I transplanted this guy over here too. It's another beefsteak tomato. Uh, it wasn't quite doing as well. So I'm hoping with a little bit more space to root, it'll start growing. And then I have some onions back here too. Um, apparently planting onions in your beds will help them to uh, not get so bug infested and uh, this little guy is just going crazy it was just in full bloom and now it's starting to bloom again it is loving this spot it has super pretty little pink flowers on it and my uh, one little tiny sage plant that finally grew out of this guy is finally starting to get bigger <laughs> so, I hope you guys are all having an epically amazing day, and I'll see you soon.